Live. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're back after acquiring Space Jump. How's everybody doing tonight? It's part four, I think. Yeah. All right. No beam weapons, just scan visor. You can actually get up here now. Ooh. Okay, so I'm thinking about what I need in order to get anywhere now. So what do I need? I know off this direction is where the artifact temple is. I'm not going there until the end. And off this way is the, the crash frigate. I don't want to do that yet. Yeah, I remember the crash frigate being a pain in the ass to navigate my first time. That's why you use the thermal visor. <laughs> Alright, so I have to go in through... the Chozo ruins because I need to get a couple of expansions that I'm able to get now. Makes sense. Now there are a couple of expansions, a couple of missile expansions that I can get right now, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until okay. I get a couple of other expansions. There's just a r specific routing I've got to take right now. Gotcha. And just so your viewers know, I have a new headset, and then I hope it makes me sound clearer. Yeah. All right. We also normally drop uh, the larger variants of power-ups. Very smooth inclined slope. Well, I'm not going to do it that way. It wants you to use boost ball. Hmm. Let's see. Anything I can collect now? Not really that I can think of. I mean, this takes spider ball, but I'm going to hold out because I want to do that when I get gravity suit, which is actually a power up that we've received in zero mission, so that's not much of a spoiler, because Gravity Suit's kind of a mainstay. Yeah, it's been a mainstay since Super Metroid. Mm-hmm. Alright, Furnace is actually a room that we'll be going to later. I'm pretty sure we'll be getting Ice Beam in this section. In this session. Fairly certain. Yeah, I usually, I usually try to plan my trips ahead of time to minimize backtracking. That's kind of why I'm uh, taking this route. Okay. Yeah, we're actually going to be going into a... Oh, wait a minute. I've forgotten that that's actually a new scan when I actually do that. What do you think it looks like to Samus when she accesses her scan logs? Probably exactly like... Probably exactly like this. <laughs> yeah, so like a holographic display in front of her? More or less. I would assume anyway. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. That's what we crazy people call a head cannon. Or in my case, I'm not right in the head cannon. <laughs> Hold on. I 
I don't know what I'm doing. Never stopped you before. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't exactly want to be wasting time. I don't have spider ball right now, so I can't really do a lot about it right now. Yeah, I was going the right way the first time. It's been a couple of weeks since I picked this up. No, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm probably going to be doing like... Clo like... When we get real close to the 6th, I'm probably going to be doing like a Discord exclusive set of streams for the Prime Trilogy for Hyper Mode difficulty. There we go, okay. this is where I need to go. Discord exclusive, so if you want in, you're going to have to, I will tell you where the stream will be. Uh, like. The day, like a week before I do it. Probably two weeks, honestly. I don't know yet. I'm not that organized. <laughs> but I have Join to the club. We've got jackets. <laughs> I'd love one right now, honestly. Also, what? What happened to cookies? Pardon? What happened to join the club? We have cookies or cake. I said jackets. I know. But the standard is cookies. Why well, I'm trying to lay off that stuff. The standard is cake. Well, there, there are a few jokes I could make, but I don't want to risk you getting demonetized. Uh, I don't care. I'm not monetizing. And the cake <laughs> is not a lie. That's not what I was going to say. What were you going to say? I'll leave it up to your innocent little imagination that will not be innocent as soon as you figure it out. I'm not innocent, period, Drake. <laughs> So you better tell me. When you're older. I'm 22. Like I said, when you're older. All right, That's back not on topic. funny. That's not funny. I thought it was. Back. Anyway, back on topic. I will do this to you. Shit, shit, shit. I hate how that dropped me into a cutscene. Right, so that's the first artifact. Artifact of nature. Yeah, there's uh, several missiles I need to pick up before I head back, pop back into Fendrana, so. Hey, what do you think of how the ice beam handles in the Prime games? What do you mean? Like, it acts like a shotgun. What do you think of that? I don't think so. I've never thought of it as a shotgun. Slow, slow fire rate, high burst damage. It sounds like one to me. It, it's too focused for that. Trying to get a missile early.
There it is. Yeah, but a simple double jump does wonders in a game like this. Yeah, and so does knowing where the platforms are. Oh, by the way, those are invisible. The platforms? Yeah. Let me guess, you'd need the x-ray visor to see them? Yeah, except um, you don't need the x-ray visor to interact with them. They're invisible, not intangible. Just gave that thing a bad case of indigestion. <laughs> right. Yeah, it just get it just means I don't have to backtrack through this room like once I get come on. Where the fuck? There it is. I hate this room. It just means I don't have to backtrack once it's time once it's time for me to do my end of game shit with a uh, X ray. You know? Mm hmm. I'm from Washington, by the way, people. So, if you couldn't tell, he has a Brooklyn accent, and I have a Washington accent. Okay, I'm not from Brooklyn. I'm from Long Island. He has a Manhattan accent. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, that thing really likes to wrap its mouth around large spherical objects. Okay. Uh, Make of that what you will. Uh, too late. Oh, by the way... I just let off a missile because I know your mind is filthy. <laughs> I know. I know you too well. <laughs> I know you far too well. Oh really? What's my favorite anime? I don't mean it in that way. I don't mean in the way that's actually freaky. I mean in the way that's like... Alright, there's an artifact in this... Connected to this room up there, but... I'm gonna wait on that, because, uh... There is... Something else I want to get at the same time that's in the same room. And it's called power bombs. Mm -hmm. There's a power bomb tank in the same general area. I just need to. Have a power bomb in order to do that. Because I can technically access the artifact of strength here. By the way, spoilers. But if you were watching this, you already expected that. Mm -hmm. You guys aren't fucking fools. Hopefully. You know, one thing I love about the Prime games is the world building they do with the scan logs. I know. I'll take some time at the end to do that, to read over them with everybody. Actually. So we can't do the artifact of nature anymore, but... The artifact of truth awaits those who truly seek it. The heat of Magmor was a test for many warriors. A shrine in their honor holds the artifact of strength. That's the one you just got. No, that's nature. It wouldn't give me a walk okay. for that. That's the one that I was just mentioning. Invaders have claimed Fendrana as their own. A tower sits atop their fortress. Collapse it to reveal the chamber where the artifact of Eldar is held. I've heard people frustrated about that one. And yet, I'm gonna get that one real easy. A sun chamber high atop our ruined home became the nest of a great beast and a source of corruption. Many Chozo spirits have been drawn to the sainted place, release their bond to the world, to claim the artifact of wild. There is a tower within the ruins where light always shines. Move through the waters there to find the artifact of Life Giver. 
a room of research lies within the mines, with corrupted invaders trapped there. Defeat this creature to claim the artifact of warrior. In one of Talon's four, four in one of Talon's far corners, a grove of life lies. Reveal the pillar beneath the waves to find the artifact of Chozo. Near Fendrana's shores, a temple stands. Thaw the frozen waters flowing from the Elder to find the artifact of Sun. Within the ruins of our home, we honor our fallen Elders in a great hall. A chamber, a chamber beneath the statue holds the artifact of World. A tall cave stands at Fendrana's edge. Seek the unseen entrance at its top to find the artifact of spirit. That one's a bitch your first time. Mm -hmm. Invaders mine the depths in their greed. Forge a path through a tunnel of the great poison to claim the artifact of newborn. You cannot sequence break that one, by the way. I tried. <laughs> you will die. Even if you have... 13 energy tanks. You will die. Not, yeah, not only will you die, but it will be very painful while you die. Uh, yeah, within about 5 seconds, I had lost 6 energy tanks. Jeez. Yeah, like I said, you will die. You will not have the time to get where you need to go. Alright, so we're going to go... Alright, so the reason that I did what I did with trying to hold out. Ow! Alright, bitch. <clears throat> Go! 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 Alright, so I can actually show you what they were talking about with the Artifact of Sun once I uh, get up there. So, Drake, uh, actually, before we started this run, did you not know about missile canceling? No. Seriously? I'm, I'm usually not too savvy on these hidden techniques in games. It's not really a technique. It's a glitch. You know what I mean. I'm not too savvy on these things. Well. Believe me when I say that against Shigas, it's real useful. Seriously. Uh, by the way, you use a uh, specific beam to chart to melt that. You morph into a ball and. Yeah, you morph into a ball right here. There you go. Pass my key. Blech. All right. Anyway, what I need to do. Oh, oh, I know which one it is. That's the one you need to break. <laughs> so, by the way, <laughs> I don't know if you saw this, but Kiara, the one who I uh, did zero mission with got super salty when I showed off my skill. <laughs> Did you see it? I'm sure it was adorable. Did you miss it? Unfortunately. I'll show you the clip. It's on the, like, that clip is on YouTube right now. Alright then, the show it to me is. later. Yeah, I'll show. Let's focus on, on the task at hand. Yeah, let's focus on getting this new weapon we're about to receive. Of course, it's guarded. Well, I'm not surprised. Me neither. If there's something like that on the open, it means it's either guarded or it's a trap. Uh, in this case, both. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get frozen. I 
guess I did there, but you know. Oh, here's a full size Sheikah, by the way. Oh, he's so cute. He wouldn't hurt me, would he? Yes, he would. Ow. Yeah, you're pumping it, it full of nutritious missiles. Yeah, like I said, you need to learn how to do missile canceling. I'll keep it in mind next time I play the game. Missiles and beam, missile beam, missile beam. Mm hmm. It has to be power beam forma formation. Noted. I'll show you why in a second, because uh, I'm about to get the new beam. I'll show you what happens if you try that with the wave beam, for example. All right. Okay. Wave beam acquired, so that's gonna be up. All right, so here's the power beam. Oh, hang on. I'm about to shoot off a few missiles. So here's the power beam with that power beam formation. Could it? Re what the missile canceling relies on is it returns the beam so they can ignore the miss the beam format so it ignores the missile reload. All right. Okay. See. See what's happening. Yeah, so it relies on it being in the power beam because the power beam is already in the neutral format. <laughs> By the way, one detail I like in this game is when you have the x-ray visor, you can actually see the, the way your yeah, sh sh hand changes for each beam weapon. It's a neat touch. It really is. I like the way, I like the fact that they did that. Yeah, Retro Studios is awesome. <clears throat> And by the way, guys, uh, if you guys are, if any of you decided it was a good idea to yell, that was close. If you guys decided to yell at that one X dev, fuck you. It, all right, here's my stance on uh, porting the Prime Trilogy to the Switch. It's not possible. Not as possible as you guys would like it to be. All right. Yeah, the pointer controls would I'll not explain. be nearly as precise. If you want proof, just Let look at what they did with Pikmin Three. Uh, actually, I have. Well, here's the thing. The way the Metroid Prime trilogies works, it, especially Corruption, is an IR sensor bar. In an IR sensor. And before everybody yells, ah, but there's an IR sensor on the right Joy-Con, it's an IR camera, people. Pointer controls are theoretically possible with Joy-Cons, but they're just radically imprecise. So the Joy-Cons have both IR, well, have uh, just an IR camera, and it has gyro control while gyro controls are nice it you have to recalibrate constantly the reason skyward sword is getting it a port is because it was made with gyro controls in mind whereas the prime trilogy relies very heavily on the ir sensor it gives you the best precision especially corruption i could see now, bear with. I could see them doing a port of Primes 1 and 2, but I can't see them doing a very good port of Corruption. 
Yeah, because those wildly imprecise motion control bits will be even worse in the Switch. Well, actually, the Corruption did it really good for what it had. Think about it. it just, uh, they didn't have... Uh, they were trying to do Corruption as a launch title for the for the Wii, but they didn't. They gave it some time. Alright. Alright, so actually right here, I'm going to showcase something real quick. There's a limited scan. I don't... Have you ever 100%ed this one? Like, scan-wise? Yes. There's a one limited time scan in, in this area that you need to be aware of, like, now. I know. <laughs> That's this one right I here. I know, it was pain in the ass. This one, right here. Do it right there. As soon yes, as you enter I that remember room. that. You're not gonna do jack shit. You're not gonna be able to kill them. Well, you're not gonna be able to scan them again. This is the only time that they are... Did you just... Man, that thing's a cool customer. Drake. Yes? No. <laughs> hey, you signed. Hey, you signed on for this when you asked me to be your co-commentator. I warned you that there would be corny jokes out the ass. God damn it! <laughs> so you're in no position to complain. I'll complain all I want. trying to do it without having to lock on it. Fuck it. I was trying to be cool, but whatever. No pun intended. Oh, I see. There's a power bomb in this room, actually. If you're careful, you can look at it. Yeah, well, you can't get it right now. Well, I can scan that. Extreme heat. That's a tip. Boing. Boing. Okay. Here's an interesting puzzle that's going to be done quickly. That sound when you solve a puzzle in Metroid is as satisfying as the one from Zelda. You know what I mean? Depends. Well, either way, it's just a sat satisfying thing to hear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with that active. Yeah, it's amazing what a double jump can get you. Mm-hmm. Seemingly innocuous at first, but it opens up a world of possibilities. It really does. And you don't get any more than the double in Prime. It would have broken the game, and if, if, if it worked like the 2D games, it would break the game in half. So, 
So I don't have to do that puzzle again. Watch me. I just have to be very, very cautious with how quickly I'm coming out of that hole. You think I can make it up? Only one way to find out. Those are flicker bats, by the way. That's a what? Flicker bats. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see? Do I have to do the puzzle again? No. I don't have to bomb the slot again because I'm smart and good at this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're awesome. Yep. Alright. How long have we been going? Okay, it's about 30 minutes. I'm trying to keep these parts to about 30 minutes. Whatever works for you. Well, they have to be semi-digestible. That's how Let's Plays work. Alright, well... Yeah. You're not wrong. 